at its core, ViewAuth is basically just a whole bunch of contracts around authenticating with a view application. But watch this video until the end because even though that might sound boring, it's actually really exciting and the repercussions of this are awesome. So it's just a whole bunch of TypeScript contracts that you can implement with different auth providers. And the ones that I've built so far are for Laravel, Laravel Sanctum, Firebase, and Superbase. So what this basically means is that if you are authenticating with Laravel Sanctum, it's implementing this login contract. And if you're implementing with Firebase, or if you're authenticating with Firebase, it's using that exact same login contract, meaning the way that these frameworks log in is the exact same. And then of course, the same with Superbase as well. And these are just some examples. There's actually some other contracts as well that deal with redirecting and stuff like that. All right, so that's the first thing to know. All of the auth providers use the same contracts and they log in, register, log out, reset password. All of that is done in the same way. So why would you wanna do this? Why not just use Firebase directly or Superbase directly? Like, Why do we need to implement these contracts? Well, it turns out there's a few benefits to this. And the first benefit, and by the way, this isn't the best benefit, but it's a huge one, is that things like loading state with Vue, because the way you handle loading state with reactive um, data uh, is done in a very Vue-like way, we can now basically streamline that. So the loading state is going to be the same whether or not you're using either of these frameworks. Error handling is always going to be the same. Um, dealing with forms is always going to be the same and it's all there ready for you to go. So you don't have to implement loading state, you don't have to implement error handling and you don't have to implement um, the form. All of that is just ready for you in a composable uh, and you just basically pluck out that logic and use it. It's really quite wonderful to use. So for example, you would use the use login composable, which looks something like this, use login. Uh, and then you can pluck out of that login and then you literally just call login to log into your application and all the loading, error handling, etc., is handled for you. All right, so that's the first thing. Now, the other thing is if you want to add your own auth provider, we've actually got some tests that have been pre-written for you. So you can actually add your own auth provider uh, using TDD and you don't have to write the tests. So uh, the reason this works is because since all the contracts are the same, I've basically created a test application and it is auth provider agnostic. And I can basically swap out Laravel, Firebase and Superbase and use the exact same tests. And I've done this, this actually works and it's really cool because now when I come along and add another auth provider or if you want to add an auth provider like Auth0 for example, all we have to do is make all of the tests pass and then we've got um, another auth provider that implements these contracts. Okay, but it gets even better than this. To, to me, this is just kind of like, um, this is cool, but what I'm about to tell you is what makes this truly magical. All right, let's imagine that we're using all of these contracts in this app, all right? So you wanna log in and you decide that you're going to use Firebase to begin with. And so you use Firebase for three months, but then you realize Firebase isn't really cutting it. It's not giving you the flexibility you need. It was great for getting up and running fast, but you want a more robust framework. So you decide to use move to Laravel, or maybe in, for you that'll be like .NET or something else. All you have to do now in order to get the authentication working is swap out Firebase with Laravel and everything is going to work the same. Especially if you make sure that you're just using the view auth contracts, you can literally just swap out uh, the auth provider that you're using and it will just work. So how cool is that? But it gets even better. Let's just imagine you want to use a framework like the Quasar framework. So what I've done is I've created components for the Quasar framework, an app extension that extends this framework uh, that's already got the login page built for you, the register page, the logout page, password reset, um, changing your password, all of that is done for you, even redirects. So if you try and go to the home page and uh, or the dashboard and you're not logged in, it will read about, redirect you back to the login page, handling all that kind of logic, all done for you. And I only had to build those components once. Once they're, once they're built, since they're using these contracts, it will work for any auth provider. In other words, if you wanna get up and running with Quasar using any of these frameworks, 
you can do it in literally less than three minutes. It is insane. And if anybody adds another auth provider in the future, it will just work. They don't have to build it for Quasar. They just need to build an auth provider that follow these contracts and it will just work in Quasar. And this could work with any framework. Somebody could then come along and say, uh, I want to do the same thing for Chakra. I want to do the same thing for Beautify, and basically just create components that implement these contracts, and then it will just work. You'll have components that work for all of these different auth providers. So that's what ViewAuth is, and that's a little bit of a history of why I decided to build this project, because it means that we can now start making authentication uh, a lot more streamlined with Vue.js. Since it is usually done the same way, there's no reason we should have to re-implement loading state, error handling, dealing with forms. Why not unify it into, uh, into one API, which is what these contracts do? And by the way, this is all done with TypeScript. So why not unify all of that so that we can easily build apps faster in the future, um, like we're now able to do with the Quasar framework? So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. And go ahead and dive into the rest of the documentation. I really think you're going to love ViewAuth.